Hey fire signs, welcome back to my channel, welcome back. So this reading is going to be for the fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and this is going to be what you can expect for the rest of Mercury retrograde. So Mercury retrograde began May 10th, if I'm not mistaken, and it goes back direct June 3rd, but there's always that post shadow period for the following two weeks that, you know, the effects are still going on pretty much. So really it doesn't end until like June 17th. Um, so this is going to be for the rest of Mercury Retrograde for my fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cleo is currently in the room. If you don't know who Cleo is, that is my kitty cat. She's super bad. She might make her appearance. She might not. We'll see. If you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box. And if you would like to book a reading um, that's something like this, you can book the warning slash advice service on my website. So I'm just going to dive right into y'all reading now. So my fire signs, what can they expect for the rest of Mercury retrograde? Y'all going to see me lick my finger because it's sort of hard to shuffle how I shuffle with this deck as of lately. So y'all might see me lick my finger. Y'all might not. Don't judge. What y'all can expect Clarification on the Ten of Swords reverse. Clarification on the Ten of Swords. So this is going to sound weird and this isn't going to resonate for everyone. But for the ones that it resonates for, like let's say, you know, you tend to watch your ex's page or like an old friend's page through a burner account or, you know, you look at their Facebook even though you guys aren't friends anymore. Like if you tend to watch... The people that's no longer in your life social media or try and keep tabs on them through some way some form i see you finally letting that go like i see you finally letting it go finally letting that hurt go that pain go um it's like i see you no longer stressing over it anymore clarification on the ace of wands i see you meeting someone new i see you having sex <laughs> Nah, I really do see you doing the nasty, though. I see you meeting someone new and doing the nasty. Honestly, this person could be a fire sign as well or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see you doing the nasty. Like, I see you either having, like, a one-night stand or just meeting someone that, like, catches your interest. But it doesn't really go into anything serious. I see you just having fun with this person. So it could just be, you know, going out for drinks, getting drunk, or just having sex. Like, I just, I just see a whole lot of but I don't see anything significant coming from it. Like I see you catching feelings for this person and I see this person catching feelings for you as well, but I don't see it leading anywhere, which is usual. usually what happens with Mercury retrograde. You know, it's not the best time to start anything new, whether that be a relationship, a connection, whatever the case may be, because it may not last. It may not last. But you know, that isn't set in stone. It can last, but I really just see you having fun with this person, whoever they are. This person could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What else can my fire signs expect from the rest of this Mercury retrograde? This person could even be a Taurus. Now Cleo wants to leave the room. Uh-uh-uh. We're not doing that. I see money coming in. For some of y'all, you could be getting a promotion. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. This is a really good reading. Now I'm going to ask the warnings because this is coming out really good. But, you know, it's always some type of chaos or mishaps. Here comes Cleo because she wants to leave the room. Now she want to come towards me. I'm not opening the door. You wanted to come in. Right before I started recording, she going to cry at the door. Now you're staying in. Yeah, I see money coming in. I see money definitely coming in. But make sure you save it. Don't spend it all at once. And don't even, honestly, I say, you know, pay your bills, pay what you need to, but put majority of that money to the side. But I see you possibly getting a promotion. All right, Cleo. Okay. What's the warnings that my fire signs need to hear for the rest of this Mercury retrograde? What is the warnings? What is the warning? Yep, 
Yep, king of coins. Save that money. Save that money. Money is going to be coming in, but don't be greedy. Save it. And also, don't brag. Do not brag. Money is going to be coming in. What, what other warnings? What other warnings? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have the king of coins, the knight of wands, and then we have the knight of coins. Money is going to be coming in. But let's say, you know, you get like $1,000 randomly or like $1,000 bonus from your job or something, right? And you're like, okay, I'm going to pay my bills, whatever, whatever. And I'm going to spend half of this. So I'm going to put half to my bills and half to, you know, uh, to just splurge. Or half to save and half to splurge. Don't even do that. I see the money coming in quickly and you're thinking, okay, I could spend this because I'm going to get some more. But with the Knight of Coins your money is going to slow down. So it's going to, you're going to get a large lump sum quickly, but then you, you're not going to see another large lump sum until probably a month or two from now. So just save, just save. What other warnings does my fire signs need to hear for the rest of this Mercury retrograde? What warnings do they need to hear? I see you blocking people. I see you arguing with people. I see you being at odds with people. Communication is definitely going to be um, an issue for you. And I see that just watch what you say, how you say it, you know, be careful with, um, with even speaking when you're angry. We have the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands. I see you blocking people out. I see communication just being very shitty. You know, the page is immaturity. So I see you acting pretty immaturely, or at least the people around you acting immaturely. And then you're feeding off of that and giving that same energy. What other warnings does my fire signs need to hear for the rest of this Mercury retrograde? This reading is pretty straight to the point. Um, I did... Oh. I did do um, a warning for Mercury retrograde for all the signs on my Instagram page. So what I'm going to do is also upload that message into the community tab. Um, five of coins. Clarification on the five of coins reverse. So I see you. Okay, yeah. This is speaking on communication again. I see you throwing all logic out the window. Like, I see you getting so angry with people or how they're communicating. Like, I just see things may come off wrong that you say and that others say to you. And you're going to take it so wrong that you're going to become, like, it's like you're going to take it as pure disrespect and you're going to become so angry that all logic flies out the window and you're just going to see red. Like, so you may possibly even physically fight. You may just vocally fight, you know, verbally fight. But I do see like all logic going out the window. Like you're going to ignore right from wrong and you're just going to go straight to wrong. Like I just see you wilding out low key. I see you wilding out. I see you wilding out. Mm. Okay. What's the advice for my, for my, I keep on almost saying air signs. This could be regarding an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I keep like slipping up and almost saying air sign. What advice do you have for my fire signs? What advice do you have for my fire signs? Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Clarification on the two of coins reverse. Clarification. One card at a time, please. Your advice isn't even making sense to me. <laughs> Your advice is, should, is to just honestly... Um, When you speak with others, let's say you're aggravated. You may not even be angry. You may not be even livid. You just may be, you know, irritated. Still, do not speak your mind until you're 110% calm. 
So, you know, your coworker could have, you know, said some slick shit that you took offensively and now you're irritated all day. And now you want to say something. It's like, nah, I need to say something to them. I need to say something. I need to say something. Don't do it. Wait until you're completely calm, whether that be towards the end of the day or the very next day when you're calm and you're feeling more logical and you're feeling, you know, like, okay, I could say this. I'm going to say it like that so it doesn't come off wrong. Like, just wait to speak. Your advice is to literally wait to speak, which is pretty vague, but, you know, it is what it is. Wait to speak. Point blank, period. But this is your reading. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Make sure you like this video if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Cleo is on the bed making biscuits. <laughs> but if you would like to book um, something like this reading, it will be the warning slash advice service on my website. And also with that service, you can opt out for double advice only or double warning only. It doesn't have to be both. You can opt out for double of the other. Um, but yeah if you like to book your personal reading you can do so through the link in my description box i don't know this reading i mean it wasn't all over the place but i feel like it wasn't much that needed to be said i feel like it was just enough i guess you can say um so because of that i'll upload the warnings that i received and that i posted on my instagram but this is the end of the reading thank you for watching you guys have a good day good night whenever you see this